down. Leave me be! Reestablish contact with the vehicle. Shock therapy works wonders sometimes. I'm sending a tow truck and a share of your fee. Yet only one of those is going to your credit account. Ha ha ha. So, you broke even? Yes, but the goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The stand's Tiger Claw's property, and your Tiger Claw's property. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gunk. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. <laughs> yeah. Come on, what's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Oh man, you're screwing with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere? That fucking board is on the impossible. I am not yelling. Said yourself, we got everything here. Tombs, stores, eateries. And that's all you ever dreamed of. Okay, good to know. The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting offed. Place your bets. Arasab, the finest in person or commercial. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arasaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Guns. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corpse leave it to the gang, suits collars, and gets soiled. Surprised? 
No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over, cheeks spread wide. Someone's in a great mood. Not every day a half-brained dead chick drags me around a cat house on a wild whore chase. So having a grand old time. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. So hold on. You take a blow-up doll, remodel the hole, and, and that's cheap. That's infidelity. Uh, no. No. How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Because the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Meat, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. It's empty. Might as well be latex. Masturbation, sophisticated kind. That's all it is. Whoa. Fuck. Makes perfect sense, that. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core. Into paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm... Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. Meaning? Meaning, you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. How could you possibly know what I'm looking for? Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire? We find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. So how's this all work? 
An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, John. Clouds is one of the safest places in all of Night City. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Valerie. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V. You're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. There's something in those mirrors way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. Just what I needed. Therapy with a robo-hooker. I'm not here to analyze you. That's not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. 
Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why'd the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. You just kind of talk in circles, at it? I can't help you if you don't want to be helped. Oh, what's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Happy. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in dreamland. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What's past is past. I'm over it. You're in denial, don't you see? Would it change things even by a hair if I wasn't? <sighs> so what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action, going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. How do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Go 
gotta say, that wasn't what I expected. I was hoping for thrills, not some gloomy, soul-searching debate. Look, baby, I don't decide what happens in here. Your subconscious drives everything. <laughs> Next time, remind me to tell my subconscious to go fuck itself. Um, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? I came here to talk to you, Sky, not some soppy algorithm. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you, Barjan, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat. But she could be in trouble. Just wanted to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out. And maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. A customer attacked her? I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Can I just stand there or tell me a number? Eleven. This booth occupied now? Nah. I think it's been out of order since... Um... Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah, and do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Let's take a look, shall we? See that? See what? Nothing there. Exactly. Should be a port right there for the doll to jack into. They rip it out? Wonder why. Fresh, not too much. Put it to a wound rather than a kill. Hmm. What's this? flew off the handle. Something bitter in the ass.
What do you think? Cyberpsychosis? Sounds crazy, but she could have been remotely hacked. And that runner? Weird. Much better here. I can't get in? I will What's that mean? Those I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with them. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. More like hard life. Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deeds. I'm not a customer. Here to talk. To you, specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. 
Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah. Uh, you know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest, but everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges in these dolls. Ugh, that's what they should be replacing. Got it. No clients allowed in here. Well, dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioural chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho bitch who's never been ghosted by her bill or bow before. But go on. I'm listening.
You sit here in this dank hole you probably call your office and think you've got it made, don't you? Congrats! You read minds better than our own fucking AI. Someone get this girl a job. Ever stop to think who's behind the Tiger Claw puppets you call your bosses? Tiger Claw bosses have got their own bosses, in case you didn't know. You're just too small to see them. <laughs> oh, cause you're such a big shot. Let's just say, a certain member of the Arasaka clan wouldn't be pleased if he knew something bad happened to Evelyn and that you're the one responsible. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here, but you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit? No denying that, sadly for her. Saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common, these kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioural chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, he said he knew something or other. You took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. I only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crib. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> you know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn? Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> the Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Want to find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Chig Chig Street. Sounds like a co ed's wet dream.
take your weapons. So how's this A all work? A pleasant day, T. An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences in real time. Memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest piqued. Real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. Uh, no. Well, Pink Fingers has got her. Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. See, her opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Might as well be latex. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire would really make this place shine. Too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell do you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half-century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. But why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need. And Makoshi's how we grab it. You know, you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Should just ignore And you're you. a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. You know, you're just an irritating hallucination, right? Just ignore and you're you. a walking corpse. Should just wait till your mind shrivels to nothing 
and frees up space for me. You fucking asshole. But as should be obvious, I've decided to help you. Need to find something first. Seven letters. Starts with an M. Okay, so this Makushi. What is it, exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Come on, come on, you got more to say, so just say it. Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is. Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Mokoshi. <laughs>